With Memorial Day signaling the unofficial start of summer, as if on cue, parts of California saw triple digit temperatures this week. Heat causes more deaths each year than hurricanes, lightning, tornadoes, earthquakes, and floods combined. That's why it's so important for you to know the signs of heat illness. Signs of heat exhaustion can include feeling lightheaded or dizzy, excessive sweating, cool, pale, or clammy skin, feeling nauseous or even vomiting, and a weak, rapid pulse, also muscle cramps. Heat exhaustion is dangerous if not taken care of, and it can lead to possible and more severe heat stroke. So what do you do if you or someone around you starts to show signs of heat exhaustion? The first thing to do is try to limit exposure. So if you can get out of the sun or indoor to an air-conditioned facility, that would be best. If you can hydrate yourself with cool fluids, that would be very useful as well. And if you have access, try to cool the hands and cool other areas of high blood flow, like the neck or the armpits or the groin. Um, and if you start noticing that things are getting worse, especially with confusion or people who have other medical illnesses, that would be time to call for assistance. Now is also a good time to remember how quickly our cars can become dangerous in the heat. On a 78 degree day, the temperature inside a parked car can soar to 120 degrees in just minutes. On a 90 degree day, your car can reach 160 degrees in less than 10 minutes. And remember, a child's body overheats three to five times faster than an adult. Children have died from heat stroke in car temperatures as low as 60 degrees. And when it comes to your pet, it's not just inside the car that can be dangerous. Asphalt can easily reach 135 degrees on summer days, hot enough to burn your pet after just one minute of contact. Always test the pavement with the back of your hand. If it's too hot for you to touch, it's too hot for your dog to walk on. If you'd like to see more videos like this or any videos from our team, go to oesnews.com. You can also like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. For all of us at Cal OES, I'm Brian May.